Hello and welcome to Disboxing, the place for assistive tech reviews and today we have an app for you called Note Talker. Being dyslexic, I'm often caught out at meetings, seminars and lectures, trying to listen to what the speaker's saying, trying to work out what's on the flip chart, PowerPoint slide or whiteboard. I often end up taking notes that look more like hieroglyphics than anything from the English language. So to counteract that, I generally take across my little friend, the dictaphone. Having a dictaphone with me means I can put that dictaphone down, press record and know that I have a comprehensive record of everything that happened in the meeting. So problem solved, right? Well, not quite. Using a dictaphone means that you generally have an audio file of about an hour, an hour and a half, even up to two hours, which then needs to be processed. And there are a few ways to do that. You can either transcribe it yourself, send it away to be transcribed, which has some costs associated with it, or you can edit the audio to make it a little bit more manageable, which are all quite time consuming. Uh, one thing I found to get around that problem are audio note taking apps. And one of the newest note taking apps on the market is Note Talker. Now, Note Talker acts a lot like some of the audio recording applications that you may have built into your smartphone, but it has some added features that allow you to create enhanced audio files, giving you the option to skip directly to the most important information. Um, so if we look at the interface, uh, it's quite a minimalist interface. At the top, it shows us we're creating a new note. And then to the top right, there's a light bulb, which allows you to change the background to uh, the best viewing conditions for yourself. Um, underneath that is the audio indicator. We're not recording any audio at the moment, so uh, it shows nothing. And then down below, you'll see three buttons. And the biggest of those buttons is the record button, which has a headphones and a microphone on it. It also says med at the bottom, which indicates we are recording medium quality audio. And we can change that to higher or lower. And I'll go through some of that a little bit later on in this video. So let's start making a new recording. As you can see, the levels have started moving up and down to show that we are actually recording some audio onto the device. Uh, now we've got these two buttons down uh, below the pause button. On the right hand side we have the bookmark button. If I press bookmark it adds a bookmark which I can skip to once the recording is finished to get to the most important information. Uh, so if I see someone saying something that I think is going to be really useful I hit the bookmark button I can rename that bookmark to whatever's relevant or I can just click add which I've done so far. So you can then keep listening until something of interest happens again or just till the end of that piece of interest in the information has finished. So I'm going to add another bookmark and I'm going to call this one end uh, to indicate that the end of the interesting stuff uh, has occurred. Um, and then obviously the meeting would go on and more useful information would come up. And at that point you can click and add another bookmark. Um, if you look over to the left hand side of the pause button, uh, you can see the photo button and that's really useful if people are writing on whiteboards or flip charts or PowerPoints or you know holding something up or even if you just want to remember who was speaking, uh, you can use that camera function to take pictures. So if I go to the camera, I'll turn the selfie there. Okay, um, yeah, that's uh, probably not the kind of picture you want to take, but it gives you an idea. So if we're going through and another PowerPoint presentation comes up, which is really useful for you, uh, we can take another picture. Uh, there you go. Um, so once you've got all of your audio notes and your images stored, uh, we can go and press stop. And uh, once we've done that, we get two more buttons at the bottom. One if you'd like to scrap the recording and the other if you want to save, which is the tick. So if we click the tick, uh, it comes up to the save note options. Um, so you can type in the name. I'm going to call this Disboxing. Boxing. And it allows you to create folders as well. So you can create as many folders as you want. Um, I'm going to put this into my personal folder and save. Once you've saved it, you've got a few more options. You can listen to it, you can continue recording, or you can go to your folders and listen to other recordings. So I'm going to go into the folder, I'm going to go into personal, and then I'm going to go into the disboxing WAV. The photo icon indicates that there were two photos taken and the bookmark icon indicates we made three bookmarks. Um, so I'll just start playing that recording. And you can hear that play now. And if I go into my bookmarks tab, I can go to show bookmarks and I can go to that first bookmark. And you can see that it skipped to 17 seconds uh, on the counter. I can then go to the second bookmark if I want to get to the end of that. 
and you can see it skipped to 104. Um, and conversely, I can go and look at my photos. So I know that uh, the second photo was a really useful slide. Uh, so I will go to show attachments and that's the second photo that I took. Beautiful. So you can see that you really quickly start to create a really useful audio visual note system uh, that probably is better than you trying to scribble down what someone else has scribbled on a whiteboard. Um, so that's pretty much in its essence. Um, if we go down to the bottom, there's four more icons. So you've got the microphone, which allows you to record more. Uh, you've got the folders icon, which we've already looked at. You can go in and look in the different folders you've created. We then go to the information button, which uh, gives you some tutorials on how to use the application. You then have email support, which opens up your email client. And you also have an option to go to the Note Talker website and see what other options there are for note taking. The last one is the settings button, um, and that shows you at the top the uh, audio quality that we talked about earlier. You can go all the way up to CD quality or go down to quite low quality, which gives you masses of recording time. And you can also select whether you want to record in WAV or MP4, and also an option to send your recordings out to Dropbox, uh, which is really useful if you use an iOS device because it can be quite difficult to get your content off your phone. Uploading your audio to Dropbox not only allows you to listen to it on other devices, but there is a desktop version of the Note Talker which allows you to maintain the bookmarks and images that you've taken and add extra information. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the desktop version in a few weeks. So as well as the mobile and desktop apps, the guys behind Note Talker have a set of some really useful accessories that help turn your mobile into the ultimate recording machine. So the, the microphone which is on your iPhone is uh, generally pretty good, but it does pick up a lot of background sound. Uh, so there is this uh, little microphone kit, which allows you to have a slightly more directional mic, which uh, cuts out some of the background sound, which you can just plug into your mobile phone like that, I mean, which is really useful if you're trying to take notes and record at the same time uh, without that. You know, if you're recording someone else at close range um, and then you wanna take some notes, you will have to turn the phone around to input data. Uh, so there's that really useful microphone there. You also have um, this little thing, which you can plug directly into your phone and it allows you to plug in a microphone and headphones at the same time. You can plug headphones into there and uh, an adapter for Android phones. It also has this clip, which if you are doing an interview with one person, you can actually clip the mic to this and then clip that to someone's tie. So you get a really good recording of uh, what the person is saying. As you can see, some pretty useful accessories. Um, so that's Note Talker. Uh, if you want to find out more about the desktop app, subscribe here and we will be putting that video out in a few weeks. Uh, otherwise, follow us on Facebook and Twitter or you can find more about the stuff that we produce um, at thecodpast.org. Um, as per usual, we've got a few copies of this application to give away. So once again, information is down there in the description. Uh, but until then, I've been Sean Douglas. This is Disboxing. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.